little bit, well, I was feeling like a little bit off, but um, at the start, I think I went a little bit too steady on the first one, like the front squat toaster bar. Like I kind of chalked up, I didn't need to chalk up. I think I had like a few too many like rests. I was being cautious of like what was to come instead of just kind of like letting go on like the own, its own workout. But it was like, okay, but I like wasn't, oh, I'm dead on the floor type thing. And I should be after any 21, 29, especially like an unbroken one. And then, um, yeah, like I should have transitioned faster. Then the second one, I think just from like holding the front squats there, and then we did the heavy front squats and stuff beforehand. But then going into the shoulder overhead, I didn't move. I just came like lay on the floor with her. And so I was like super rigid. And then I went to like shoulder overhead and I was like, oh my God, I was so tight. Like all the front of my shoulders and back. And then I bailed my first bar muscle up because I was so tight. I couldn't like internally rotate when I transitioned. And I was like, oh my gosh. So then I fixed it but because I wanted to do it unbroken. Huh? You have a blue tongue. Oh. Um, and then, um, but yeah, so then I like fixed it and kind of kept going. Again, maybe not as red line. I struggle with that sometimes. Like just going like blowing caution into the wind and just, you know, ripping in. Well, that wasn't dying, but it felt a bit funny. And then, um, yeah, did the last one like a little bit quicker. If you were um, strategizing that workout, what did you want unbroken? Um, yeah, yeah, I think it's too little of a time frame, like 21, 15, 9 is like, you take too long, you're going to take at least five seconds rest that can easily blow out to longer if you drop it, um, unless you have like epic control of like a drop, shake, go or something, but I think you're better off just moving because mentally once you break, you break too. Um, oh, no time. Shame. It's not blow at all. Yeah, the only thing that I think would vary, I think honestly most people can just do it unbroken, but um, uh, unless maybe the bar work, like maybe the, the um, bar muscle ups or toaster bar, maybe someone would need to do a, um, break it up. I really should be able to do the other stuff unbroken, but I think where you would speed it up is in your transitions. Like that's what I should have done. I should have been faster for my transitions and not got chalk and all that kind of stuff that I wouldn't do in competition, but. Um, yeah, that's I think where the time is. But I think you just you just stretch. It's one of those things you can kind of stretch and push yourself and see if you can do it unbroken. And if you can't, it's not super expensive. In training, you want want to do that. Um, and then in competition, yeah, you make a call. But I don't know, twenty one fifteen nine. If you see some crossfitter, just go. Okay. All right. So if you do this workout, um, let me know in the comments how you went. Um, if you think that my <laughs> tips are wrong, I um, yeah. I don't know, you never know till afterwards and there's always a couple of different ways you can do it, but yeah, let me know how you go. It was fun, good start to the week.